All right, guys, well, we're over here at B&D Automotive. They've got this block done, and look at that cylinder bore. Man, I am super, super, super excited. So they went ahead and bored it, uh, 4.165, honed it, uh, got the new sleeves in it. Can't even, I don't even know which ones was the old ones versus which ones was the new ones now. Got my uh, O-rings in. So this is looking phenomenal. So we're trying to figure out the oil and stuff now. I called Brodix today. Um, the snap ring they sent for the cam plug is not the right one for some reason. But I had to order all these little fittings here. None of those had uh, were in stock. These are a different size than, than the other ones. These are like Dash 7 O-ring. I didn't even know they made a Dash 7 O-ring. And these are, I think he said Dash 6 O-ring. And then up here, these are gonna be the restrictions. So we're just looking, trying to figure out the oil flow through this block. And I found their instructions on their website on how to do it. And you see back here, there's an in and out. This is supposed to be a priority main oiling. Uh, if you take a look, this is gonna be where the oil pump, of course, uh, gets the oil out. And the in, it goes, if you look at it, it goes straight that end goes straight over to this main bearing, but then it also comes off of the back here and feeds up here. Um, now this is where we'll have our uh, oil pressure poured at um, in one of these, this one or this one, just for the pressure. But then it crosses over and it goes over to here. So if we feed it in from the back, the oil is gonna go across, it's gonna feed this primarily first, that's gonna be the straight shot, but then off of it, it'll come down to this port and then over here, and then feed the back. Now there's no way I can restrict the back back here. So if I can't restrict the back now, I guess it kind of is a priority main because that's where it's going to be going first. But I don't think that's going to be a true priority main like I had it in my dart. So um, Mr. Mr. Bobby was just telling me he's got an older block back. Is yours a Brody spot yeah. also? No, mine is a dart. So his is a dart, but it only has one out back here. And then he feeds it in from the front port up here so we may end up doing that on mine and then what happens uh when the oil comes out of the block it'll go into the front come through here you'll have your restrictors here to restrict going into the cam tunnel to your lifters and so once it does that it comes through goes through the main system and once it feeds the mains then it comes back and goes up to the back. It's not restricted in the back, so then you get oil flow through the back. Um, this is crazy, man. This thing is this thing is so light, I just picked it up and put it up here myself. This is insane, the lightness of this block. Um, we just had a lot of lightning done to it as well. So uh, I think we're gonna be okay. So they got the caps off of it. Uh, these things are dialed to hold them in place. I, I never really thought about that, didn't really. Uh, think about that, but that's I guess that's what you do instead of having a register which this one's got registers, too So it's interesting. So they got this thing jammed up knocked it out bored it honed it Got it cleaned up uh, got the o-rings done on it and we got a motor ready to assemble I Got all my parts and pieces coming. So hopefully in the next couple days. I'll have the bottom end together uh, head gaskets. He measured this block the deck height for me I uh, should have already done this, but he measured the deck height for me. It's 9.055. My old one was a 9.02. So I ordered a little bit thinner head gasket. So we should be fine there. Compression ratio will be all about the same. I'm excited, guys. This is going, this is going to be awesome. So I got all the parts and pieces. So the aluminum motor is going back together. All right, Mr. Bobby, I appreciate you jumping on it and knocking it out. All right, take care. B&D Automotive. Y'all go check them out. All right, and this is Mr. Bobby's Camaro that he's got out here. This is a bracket car that he, he races. So this motor goes 640s, and the big motor goes 540s. And he's putting that thing together, getting the aluminum motor in it. This is a nice bracket car. Super nice. Super, super, super nice. And this is the good motor. This is the motor. When y'all gonna put this one in there? In a couple weeks, you're gonna have this one in there. Oh, look at that. I like the engraved valve covers too. This is nice. What kind of heads are those? The Brodus Canyon valve. The Brodus Canyon valve heads. And these things flow like 400 CFM. Look at the 
Look at the exhaust ports. Raised and canned up and... Did he? Mm -hmm. God, that thing is nice. Look how wide that is. The thing is, this is a bad motor. So this is the dark aluminum motor. Wow. They used to have an engine dyno back there, but it got out of the dyno business. And he's, so he built this test rig. And so he'll put a motor on here when he builds them, cranks them up, lets them run. Uh, it's got, I mean, water pump, it's got a radiator, run it, get, get some temperature in it. The biggest thing, what he was saying is, he checks for leaks. You know, there ain't nothing worse than getting a motor in a car and that thing leaking on you somewhere. And especially if it's leaking, we've always, we've all had them at some point where you get one of those leaks back here in the bell housings. Oh my goodness. And then you gotta take it all back apart. There ain't nothing worse than that. So finding it here definitely will save you some time. That is pretty cool. Boy, it's hard to believe all this stuff fits in the back of the smart car, but it does. So Danny Ray was not at the engine shop the other day when I picked up the block. So we were talking about oiling and oiling on this thing is supposed to be a priority main block and he has a block just like this so he was explaining to me how it works and this thing is like i said this thing is awesome unbelievable uh the way this works i was confused my dart block it basically has one out here and then you have to put it in on the the top side but the way this one works it actually has an out and an in you can see it's even labeled in and so when you follow the oil flow, this one goes directly to this main here. And then off of it, there's a side skirt that goes off. And where it goes is, I thought it was going right here. These are the lifter galleys. And if you look through the lifter galleys, you see there's nothing on this end to feed it. So I thought that it was gonna actually not be priority main. What it does is it actually goes to this top port. And that one, you can't really see down in there, but that one, the center one, this one is fed from the end. So it feeds this one and then it feeds this and this runs above the cam tunnel and it feeds all of the mains. So all of these mains are fed directly from, from this here. And I assume somewhere off of that port is where the cam bearings actually get fed as well. And then the oil pressure comes off of this. It's a side port that goes off to the oil pressure here, and then you're set. So it is a priority main oiling, so I don't have to do anything. Um, I did order restrictors to put in the front, just so we don't get a lot of extra oil to the top. Being a solid roller, you don't want it to have a ton of oil going to the top of the motor. Here we go, guys. I'm excited. This thing, I didn't realize the oil in path. I'm glad Danny was able to explain it to me. Makes the, makes the process a lot easier for me to understand what I need to do. So those guys, I can't thank them enough. Uh, Bobby and Danny at B&D Automotive, killing it, man. They knocked this thing out in short order. All right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. See y'all soon. Later.